Aha. So, it's, uh, it's a little bit late, but, um, you know what? We're, uh, we're very close to the end, so I'm going to push myself, even though it is, at least in my time, technically going to go past Sunday. But hey, I started it on Sunday, so therefore it still technically is considered SNES Sunday. But yeah, I'm really close to finishing this whole blazer, so you know what? Let's just go ahead and do it. So, before I go on and uh, try to tackle the remaining area, um, I'm going to go through and see if I can find all the remaining hidden items that I'm missing. And I had to be a little bit lame and look up a list of them. Because again, some of these are rather difficult to find. Like, for example, one item I'm going to go pick up that uh, I don't really need is... Yeah, remember how the queen of the grid was kicking around here? Yeah, she was apparently uh, blocking me from getting this. Now, there's no indication you should ever come back here, but there we are. But yeah, that uh, <clears throat> increases my offense and defense. Which is good, but I'm pretty soon going to get a much better item. For example... Well, you know. First and foremost, I need to... Uh, find all of the Master's emblems. Now, there's two in the area of Madrid Castle. But I think I've already gotten one. There was one up here, yes? Yeah, yeah, I've already got that. The other one, however, is in the dungeon, so... I'm pretty sure I haven't gotten that one yet. Emblem B. Down on the third floor, I believe. Stairs. Yes, of course, yes. Yeah, it'll help to cruise through these areas and kill a few extra enemies, too. If I can gain another level or two before finally reaching uh, Death Toll, all for the better. Oh, look, treasure chest. See, it's a good thing I came down here again. Well, <laughs> not really, that's not terribly useful. Now, down on the third floor... ...in a room full of spikes. This room. Aha! There we go, Emblem B. Now, which is the next one I need to get? Apparently Emblem C is a woman! According to that symbol, anyway. Um, I've already got Emblem C, I need Emblem D. A doodle. Aha, there we go. Extra level, always a plus. St. L's. I'm 
sure that is the next one I need, right? Yeah. heard a scraping noise that was just my glass hitting the mic. Don't worry about that. Forgot about that. There. And to be honest, even though I've made note of it, I kind of maybe forget where this one is supposed to be. I, I might have to take a brief moment to look it up again, but uh, let's flail around for a bit here, see if I can find it. I know it's in a treasure chest, somewhere. Somewhere on the ocean floor, I think. somewhere, was it? Was that how I had to, uh... Mm, I don't know. Okay, well, that's where the, uh... boss was. Because it almost looks like I can get in over there somewhere. Maybe if I go back up to where the boss was, maybe. Aha, see? What's that? How do I get to that? This is going to be another one of those things, like uh, when I found the secret entrance to where that snail was. You know, it, it, it will be incredibly stupid. Like, it, it'll be a thing I should have seen before. It's a different color. Maybe that's where I have to go. No. Nothing like that. Um, okay, yeah. You're gonna have to bear with me for a second. I'm gonna actually go and look that up again, so... Hang on for a moment there, guys.
Well, okay, you know what? <laughs> I'll just leave the game going so it's not just dead air. That would just be boring, wouldn't it? Besides, the music in this area is kind of neat. Let's see... The Master's Emblem D. Okay, apparently there's, uh... Apparently there's directions to get to uh, wherever the hell this place is. And I'm gonna feel like an idiot, I'm sure, when I find it. So, go southwest. So, southwest. To a sea urchin. Bam. Go west for another one. Bam. Go north. Wait a minute, but this is the northern path, and this is where I just came from. Okay, well, let's just, you know... Okay, I think that might have been the chest for the power bracelet was, which is good, because I think I might be on the right track. The entrance to the area and head west. Go east, north pass, and west into the narrow valley. Okay, I can't help but get the feeling that, um... I am entirely mistaken into where the hell I'm supposed to be right now. This is annoying. This is a nuisance. I know that painful for anybody watching. 
I can't help but get the feeling that is it over there, but how the hell do I get to it? be in the wrong spot entirely for all I know. Hell, it might be down this way. I am missing D, aren't I? Yeah, I am. It's funny though, it should have been a monster lair. Although it's apparently in a spot. It must be in a spot I haven't been to before, is the thing. I mean, this will lead me up to one of the islands. Man, I can't think of any spot it can possibly be except for that spot up there, but how the hell do I get to it? think that that's where I have to go in there. <laughs> Secret entrance, where are you? Nothing else, I'm very slowly grinding experience. Tell you what, let me just let me just go double check this. See, I know exactly what the hell I'm talking about here, or looking for. I think I'm missing a step here, then. Well, that explains a few things. I've been wondering what the hell I need this pearl for that I've had in my inventory for so long. And see, this is once again the game being a real bastard and not telling you these things. See, I have to go to where Lue was kept imprisoned. The reason why I have to go there... He's dead. Yeah, I need to use the Dream Rod on this guy, I think.
Yeah, see, this is exactly where I needed to be. And now I think I equipped the pearl. Yes, I was going to present that pearl. This is the coral reef. I miss this place. I mean, really. That's what I needed to do this entire goddamn time. Okay, I was going in the right spot. I was just missing a rather crucial step. Now I know a uh, shortcut to it. I can just take that. Get on down this way. And lo and behold, now we can actually get inside. There's a monster lair here. Inside here we have... Day. Here we have gems, nothing, one card. Perfect. Well, that was incredibly stupid that it took me that long to find the thing, but there we are. Hopefully, the rest will go a lot more smoothly. Collecting the gems there is going to be a bit of a moot point now in a minute, you'll see why, <laughs> once I get all the emblems. Well, hell, actually, you probably, if you watch the rest of the videos, you'll remember what it is. I was told by a fairy in Greenwood that if I collect all the emblems, she'll give me an artifact that means I don't have to use gems for magic anymore. Okay, so I've got E, I've got F. I don't have G, and G is another. G is one of those ones that's really simple, that so simple that it's stupid. Because Master's Emblem E is in Leo's laboratory. More to the point, it is right. Here. Now see, how would you know to push the damn thing? You can't move any of the others. Oh, I would hate this game if I didn't love it so much. Okay, now, let's go back to Greenwood. chat with you. Jim Bob, you collected all eight emblems. I will now give you the magic bell. You have fought well. There we go, magic bell. You will be able to cast magic without using any gems. Which is useful, but I won't equip it just yet, because I want the ultimate spell first. And I have... Well, I remembered that the last piece of the puzzle for that, I need to actually go to the world of evil for it first. Alright, so let us go inside this freaky deaky light show. The six stones started to shine and were swallowed into the aurora. Aurora Borealis. This time of the year. 
this time of the day, in this part of the country, localized directly. Well, this isn't really a kitchen, but. Oh, Simpsons quotes. Jim Bob, the gate to the world of evil finally opened. But you need the Phoenix's help to defeat Death Toll. When the Phoenix joins you, the Palace of Death Toll will appear in the world of evil. Jim Bob, try to find the three symbols. I'm trippin' balls, man! Oh wait, no, that, uh, yeah. Holy crap, these things are actually doing a fair bit of damage to me. I'm not a high enough level yet. Case in point. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Feeling of this pretty soundly, aren't I? Okay, there we go. Good. Retreat! Let's try this again. Oh, uh, hey Derek Ninja, welcome to the show. Yeah, I seem to recall that Death Toll himself isn't really that difficult, but uh, getting to him can be a bit of a pain, especially since, well, I honestly should be a higher level than this. But yeah, those weird mirror things, I do remember those giving you a lot of experience. So I'll just, like, grind when I get up there for a few levels. I see part of the reason why um, I'm getting damaged so much. I forgot to switch out of the bubble bubble armor. That, uh, that explains a few things, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm taking a bit less damage now. It was really stupid of me not to uh, switch out my armor like that. Nope. Oh, crap. 
Yeah, I seem to recall 50 is pretty much the highest you can get, but uh, I think it really stops having any effect after level 47, I seem to recall. It's like after that, your levels really do nothing. Hopefully I won't need to go quite that high to finish the game, though. Um, also, if you have any more suggestions for a SNES game that I can do for SNES Sunday, just, you know, go right ahead and tell me about them. Because I've already got so many I want to do myself, but I know there's piles of Super Nintendo games I've probably never played before, so... Any suggestion is welcome. Ah, something tells me that's going to be important. Hot ball. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Alright, back to the Mountain of Souls. Talk to the wee little king. You made it, Jim Bob. I shall call the phoenix. Jim Bob received magic of the phoenix. High above in the sky, a beautiful voice could be heard. I am the phoenix. I live on the mountain of souls. I will help you revive the world and protect the peace. As soon as I was called, Death Toll moved into position. No, Death Toll has assumed the position, has he? Return to the world of evil with the Phoenix. If you equip Soul Blade and Soul Armor, the Phoenix will be able to help you. This is the final battle, the battle with Death Toll. Please come back alive. Oh, that's, that's kind of the plan, man. Death is my least favorite thing to do. Right, just for uh, the sake of it, let's save. Yeah, he assumed the position, but it remains to be seen who's going to be on the receiving end here, me or him. It's been a long time since I've played this, so... Yeah, I'll leave the Phoenix unequipped until I find the proper equipment for it. Yeah, the walls do that, I forgot. Twenty-five, you say? Yeah, that might be a good level to end off with. I'll probably stand a fairly good chance after that, I would hope. Oh, and, or I can't use the armor. Oh, I forgot all about that. That's right, the level limitations. Oh, 
I know why I'm going for the gems, I don't really need them. Oh, friggin' magic it is. Ah, oh, there's the mirror things. Soul blade for that, don't I? Ah. Come on, get into the weird little loop thing. There you go. Oh crap. <laughs> As for the next game I'm going to play, I'm not sure just yet. Uh, Legend of Gaia seems like a good choice, seeing how I've already played this one. Secret of Mana was pretty good too, though, all the same. Oops. What the hell? <laughs> oh wait, no, I need the armor, don't I? Or I'm going to die horribly. I was thinking of going for something a bit simpler for the next go, if I could. Soul armor. There we go, that's what I need. Like, I might just go ahead and do a beat em up next before I do anything a bit more, um, uh, uh, complicated, maybe, is the word I should go for. Super Double Dragon seems like a good choice, I might end up going with that. After that, I might actually give uh, Secret of Mana a shot. It's been a while since I've played that. Okay, that's where he is, but I don't want to take him out just yet. I've got a sword to get just yet. the damage. Worth it. Wait, what was the description for that? The strongest sword you may use. That's simple enough. 
may as well equip the, uh... Aha! There we go. Perfect. Let's do a little bit of grinding, shall we? I should probably equip that magic bobble too on that. Not magic bobble, magic, uh, bell. Yeah, no, man, I like your suggestion. I think I might actually do that. Um, next thing I do for SNES Sunday, at least for now, this is my decision, I'll probably go through Super Double Dragon, because I've had that game in my head for a while. After that, however, I think I will indeed go ahead and try Secret of Mana. And they do with that, don't they? Okay, there we go. Jeez, I was wondering what the hell was going on with that thing, why well, it wasn't working. Apparently I wasn't standing close enough to it. <laughs> okay, and that would have made, uh, getting that one less of a kamikaze run. But of course I had to do it the hard way, didn't I? This is probably the quickest way for me to gain the next level, I guess. There we go! Uh, maybe I'll gain one more for luck's sake. Maybe I won't, but it seems like it's going to take a long goddamn time. <laughs> well, let's take a look, shall we? That one. Yeah. Maybe I'll give it a shot at level 25. I'll just have to... ...run on... ...somewhere. To get another medical herb, just in case case of emergencies, and I'll go take on the main man himself. Now, I can't remember if you can get a medical herb in, uh, Madrid, but I know you can get one here. Okay, so this potted plant is apparently something of a masochist. You know, just begging me to rip pieces off of them to use, right? Oh, you're watching this on your phone? Yeah, I always wondered how, uh, good the quality of the stream was on mobile devices. I'm not exactly too up on the technical details of this kind of thing myself, so... As far as I know, it works fairly well if you're watching it on your computer, but for other things, I don't know. My computer's not exactly the, uh, 
highest tech of equipment either, but I'm getting a new one soon, which is hopefully going to mitigate some of these problems. Because I can't really stream much more than Super Nintendo games on this thing. And even then, if I don't set it properly, it's really, well, buggy, to say the least. But anyway, let's uh, run in here and see what I can do towards finishing this. The poor creature that repeats transmigration of the soul and cannot die. I will put you in a deep sleep. It's probably best just to take the hits and wail on them. Some people believe being constantly reincarnated means everlasting suffering. Being alive is suffering for some creatures. You will find out what I mean. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh crap, crap, crap. how this plays out too. Now you have to take out those blue flames first before you take on the main man himself, don't you? Okay, let's play this smart. Well, as smart as I can, anyway. He says that he keeps constantly getting hit. Another blurb, I think. Okay, let's look that far off one more time. Opportunity on that one. Ha! Take that, you jerk! Success! <laughs> Finally, Jim Bob defeated Death Toll. Suddenly, Jim Bob heard a small voice. Jim Bob, we decided to stay here and seal the world of evil. The world of evil is a dark world that exists in the back of creatures' minds. As long as there are inventions in this world, the same thing will happen. Because, you know, apparently science is evil. 
I will stay and try to stop as much as possible. You are still young, you should experience more. And if you figure out re if you figure out reasons for all feelings, all connections and existences, you will be wise like the master. Jim Bob, get going. The world of evil began to disappear. Jim Bob, you made it. All the creatures have been saved. Every last one, thanks to you. Why did you go and see the world and all its creatures? Victory World Tour! You finally made it. First of all, let me say thank you. I started to think of many things. I know this may sound strange, but in the human world, if a person kills one man, he is a murderer. However, if a person kills a hundred, then he is praised as a hero. I became a king by this theory, but I always felt lonely. Even if I had many men and beautiful women around me, I felt alone. Oh, so the king was bisexual, that makes sense. Now I realize no man can live by himself. I'm going to spend all the money I receive from Death Toll to construct and build a great town. This is my way of com com compensating, there we go, for the people I help, help defeat. But I also want to build a town where people won't have anything to fear. And they can begin to believe in themselves. And Bob, thank you very much. I will build statues of you and Dr. Leo in the center of town. I promise to tell every generation about your accomplishments. Wait, every generation so he plans on being immortal? Jim Bob, you made it. Dr. Leo can pass away peacefully. We tools exist to be used by human beings. We are happy if we're helpful to the humans. And we hurt if they use us in the wrong way. Even though we would like to tell them not to use us the wrong way, we cannot. This is very painful. <laughs> this... Th Dr. Leo understood our feelings. Th this whole explanation sounds oddly dirty. Tools Dr. Leo must have used must have been happy. Oh, you're back. Well, I wasn't worried, but... Gnome was really worried about you. Gnome, say something. Such a thoughtless man. <laughs> Dr. Leo has passed away. I miss him very much. There are creatures that only get one year to live. The value of life depends on the number of days spent with fulfillment. Maybe Dr. Leo's life was more fulfilled than many others. Jim Bob, thank you very much. Peace has returned here to St. Els. The Dolphin Lue used to live with Dr. Leo. It's strange, whenever he tells me about Dr. Leo and his daughter, Lisa, I miss them and sometimes find myself crying. Now Dr. Leo is gone, Lisa must be very lonely. Oh, here comes the way. He must have heard your voice. Yeah, my non-existent voice, because like every other RPG hero, I'm apparently mute. Phew. Jim Bob, why did you not visit me? I decided to return to my hometown, along with my friends. Tell you the truth, I am to be married. 
Hey, Lala, come in here. Don't you think she is beautiful? We'll be happy together. Chimbaba, wish you luck. Yeah, I can't. I can't talk about the attractive attractiveness of dolphins ever since that unfortunate visit to SeaWorld. Okay. Turbo's grave, standing alone. When Jim Bob closed his eyes, he tried to imagine Turbo. And lo and behold, like good sleep comes after hard work, good rest comes after an honest life. I will rest, rest well with Dr. Leo. Lisa appears to be sleeping. How many times do I have to bother this poor woman when she's asleep? Jamal placed the dream rod upon Lisa's head. <laughs> Jamal, I thought I wouldn't meet you here. In your dreams again? I am all alone. I know that as time passes, I will stop feeling lonely. My father used to tell me the key to happiness lies in patience, not in haste. I don't know whether you are an angel or human, but I must ask you to do me a favor. I will not ask you to stay with me. Only promise me you will return someday. You could tell me a lie, but I feel our promise will give me hope for the future. Please. Please promise me that you will one day return. Oh yeah, way to give me an option, game. Thank you. I wish this dream would never end. Jim Bob, promise me you will return someday. So you can do something about that name, presumably, because I mean, really. Grass Valley at sunset, the glistening ocean, the restored world was beautiful. All the creatures stopped and looked at the beauty of the sunset. One was with his child, and one was with his friend. Creatures were in awe of the scenery. Suddenly a light ray shot into the sky. However, no one noticed, because, you know, it's Tuesday. These things always happen on Tuesday. And then suddenly things get really detailed. Lisa was standing all by herself. used to feel lonely when she saw the sunset, but now she thinks it is beautiful. And because her parents are dead, now she's probably contemplating being Batman. That's how these things work, right? Just like her father changed impossible to possible, Lisa feels she will be happy if she believes.
And there it is, the credits. Finally, finally, I have finished Soul Blazer. I probably could have done this a lot quicker, if not for the fact that I didn't play every Sunday. But, you know, I, it was done now. And yes, I believe, to the suggestion of my friend in the chat here, Secret of Mana will be the next game I play. Well, I might buffer that with Super Double Dragon, yet I'm not sure. Or I might end up playing both games next Sunday, I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember exactly how long it would take me to get through Double Dragon. I mean, it's a beat-em-up, so it's the type of thing that's designed to be done in one playthrough if you can do it, but it still might take like an hour or so. Or I might just say screw it and go ahead with Secret of Mana anyway. <laughs> And yes, any guidance in that would be greatly appreciated, because I'm even less familiar with Secret of Mana than I was with this one. Soul Blazer I played through several times, but the last time I played it was played it from start to finish. Might have been anywhere between five to ten years ago. <coughs> Secret of Mana I think I only ever played once when I was younger, so... Yeah, Su Super Double Dragon was a really good beat em up. But see, the Super Nintendo, well, the 16 bit era, and the Super Nintendo in particular, seemed to be like the, the pinnacle of beat em ups, at least in you know my opinion, they were. Because, I mean, on Sega, you had the Streets of Rage series, and then, of course, on Nintendo, you had Super Double Dragon and the Final Fight, so. Ah, oh, here we go. My follower. Tell me what is on your mind. I do not know what has happened between you and that girl. However, being attracted to a human means that you have not yet established yourself as a heavenly creature. A year has now passed, but your feelings have not changed. Maybe you should try living as a human being. Learning how they live. Be warned, though. Once you go down to Earth, you will lose all memory. <laughs> Seems like a bit of a dick move there, Master. Hey, Turbo. I feel something strange in the air today. What's wrong with me? Yeah, it seems like a bit of a dick move, Master. You know, send him down to be with the girl he loves, but rob him of all memory of her. <laughs> Chimbop? Is that you? Oh my! I knew you would come back. What is wrong? Don't you remember me? Yeah? No, I can't believe this! <laughs> It's me, Lisa. Daughter of Dr. Leo, the inventor. Please. Don't you remember me? I said yes, what more do you want? Well, okay. You have never lied to me. It's just hard to believe you lost all your memory. All I said was yes. <laughs> alright, alright, I won't ask you again. I guess I have to change my way of thinking. We can create many new and wonderful memories. Together! Okay, let me introduce myself. I am Lisa. And the goat behind me is Turbo. Come on, Turbo. Say hello. Fleet! <laughs> he looks like a dog I used to have. That is why I call him Turbo. Come on, show your hand. Hurry up, Turbo. Also, I apologize if I tr if I nearly deafen anybody with my impersonation of a goat.
probably sounded nothing like a goat. The end. Well, there we go. That's it. Finally, that's the end of Soul Blazer. But yeah, once again, I gotta say, that probably was one of my games. Um, one of my favorite games on the Super Nintendo. And it's still just as enjoyable now as it was then. Okay, so, well, anyone who happens to be watching, thank you for watching. Um, and it seems like I have come to the conclusion about what I'm going to do next time on SNES Sunday. Next time, I think I might go ahead with Super Double Dragon. And depending on how early in the day I start, I might play all the way through that and start Secret of Mana. If not, then I'm going to play Super Double Dragon next Sunday. And then the following week, I'll probably start Secret of Mana. And yes, any help I can possibly get with Secret of Mana, I would greatly appreciate. Because, well, you know. <laughs> I have very few memories of that game, so I'll probably be completely clueless when I jump into it, so... Any aid from anybody watching, that would be greatly appreciated. So once again, thanks a lot for sticking around. And thank you for watching me finish off this wonder wonder wonderful, wonderful game, and I hope that you'll be sticking around for future streams. So, until next time, good night and farewell.